It's currently 7.20. I've been at the gym since 4.50, five o'clock training clients. It's been a good day so far, but now we need to go eat. So let's go do that. I filmed that clip twice now because I dropped this fork on the ground. My dogs have dirty paws. I'm not about to eat like that. Anyways, what we got here is two whole eggs, three, ser four servings of egg whites, and then two servings of French bread. We're gonna eat this up and then we are going to rest a little bit and go train. We'll get into the top of this video soon. All right, so it has been a few hours since we ate that meal. Normally I would have liked to eat a meal and then about an hour to an hour and a half go to the gym, but sometimes life just doesn't work that way. We are headed to the gym right now. We have a weightlifting session. We're, we're gonna squat. Now, like, I hate saying weightlifting now since I've started CrossFit because weightlifting and CrossFit means something different than just like weightlifting to a normal person. Weightlifting means like a limp. Anyways, we are on our way to the gym right now to go hit our lift and then later we have conditioning. Let's hit it. Yo, okay, we are now post-workout, and basically what I'm doing for post-workout, don't come at me with the, my AirPod just fell. Don't come at me with the bullshit, you're a bro, bro science stuff, because I don't wanna hear it. Look, I have 25-ish grams of protein from Wayne in here, 25 grams of carbohydrate in here, I have five grams of creatine, and I have three grams of beta alanine. Normally you take your beta alanine pre-workout, but I forgot to take pre-workout, and then I have a banana here. We're trying to like kind of lean out just a very little bit. Um, I've gotten a little thick and gymnastics, you know, I do a little bit better with a couple pounds off of me. Anyways, I'm big on the post-workout nutrition. I think that it's important for the sport that I do. I'm trying to be in the top like 5% of athletes. So I will take that 0 0.01 chance, percent chance to have a leg up on everybody else. So anyways, this is what we're doing post-workout. We had a our session, well, I'll explain in a second. So our session there wasn't really that, all that intense, and you guys will see as the weeks go on, that training intensity when you're trying to be a CrossFit athlete is like way different than it is when it comes to like being a power lifter or a bodybuilder. You have to train super intensely because you have to get used to that feeling of competing, and you have to get stronger and you have to cause adaptation. Anyways, we're not really like working that hard with all of our weightlifting yet. When it comes to Olympic lifting, we're working hard. But this stuff, we're using kind of as rehab. I dent, I like injured my back a little bit. It's a reoccurring injury that happens every single year. But we're rehabbing the back, so we have to be smart. So don't screenshot this, anybody. That's what we're doing. It was fun. We gotta go home and get another meal because we gotta eat again before our second session of the day. All right, we are on week one of this mini cut diet. This is a test week. We're gonna see if these macros end up working out well for us. If we lose too much weight, we'll up some numbers. If we don't lose enough weight or if we lose you know, no weight at all, then we'll lower the numbers. Basically, this is 185 grams of cooked ground beef, 85.15, 200 grams of cooked white rice. You guys, if it fits your macros, is great. And I appreciate that people track their macros. This is kind of like the point that I want to get to in this video is like, I appreciate that people know what macros are now and calorie tracking and all that stuff and that's how you lose weight and that's how you see the most like body composite, like that is the main thing that drives your body composition is calories in versus calories out, macros, etc. But I cannot believe that this is the only thing that's touted when it comes to health and fitness. Dude, if you want to achieve your best physique, I truly think, this is my opinion, that your food should be super nutrient dense, it should be fueling your body because minerals, electrolytes, amino acids, all these different things, you should be trying to maximize it in order to get your best physique because 
your body is composed of so much stuff and everything works in synergy. And to think that macros are the only thing that's driving your body composition and your performance is fucking insane to me. So anyway, I try to keep my, uh, my food pretty nutrient dense. And by that I mean I eat higher fat meat, I eat white rice just simply as a carb source, I try to eat a lot of fruit or at least as much as my macros will allow me to eat, and then I eat veggies here and there and I take you know, supplements, vitamins, minerals, I drink a lot of sodium per day, I take potassium, magnesium. Um, people are gonna think I'm a hippie, but I also don't drink tap water because I don't want the pharmaceutical drugs that are in the tap water and I don't want all the other shit that's in the tap water. So I'm gonna enjoy this meal now. Saw part of session number two for the day. It is 8 11 p.m. We started around 7 25. I only showed part of the session because otherwise it would have been way too much to show. You guys got to saw got to see the fun gymnastic stuff. So now waiting on Heather to finish up. We're gonna hit the cold plunge and then we're gonna get some mother freaking macros in our system because we need a little yummy in our tummy. You get what I'm saying? All right, see you guys in the next clip. I almost completely forgot to record this. I'm having three servings of Kodiak cakes with one Nusa Greek yogurt smothered on top and there's some chocolate chippies in there. See that? Mmm. I had a little bit sad. I had another whey protein shake. Um, with, obviously, carbs built into there too. Why am I not in focus? There we go. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be it for the night, so I'll do a recap in the morning when I am done editing this video, tell you guys what the calories are, all that stuff, what the purpose is. I think it'll be good. It'll be interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching this far. If you made it this far, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. All right, y'all, so that is going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button if you did like the video and also subscribe if you are new, which I know you're new because I don't have that many subscribers. Anyways, this is the beginning to our little mini cut series that we are going to do on this channel. We're shooting for about 2,600 to 3,000 calories per day, depending on how hard the training day is, with 180 to 200 grams of protein, about 330 carb, and then anywhere between 65 to 75-ish grams of fat. We're gonna update about every single week, maybe every two weeks on weight, stuff like that. My son is laughing at me vlogging right now. And uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. See y'all in the next video. Peace out, bye.